Hi, it's Mike from Production Expert, and today we're going to take a quick look at a new version of NewGen Audio's VizLM 2.8.3. Now, in this update, there are two changes, one minor and one major. And in testing 2.8.3, we've actually discovered an undocumented feature that's in VizLM. More of that later. So let's start with the minor change. This reflects NewGen Audio's aim to update the delivery spec presets as the standard setting body changes their delivery spec. After all, there's no point in having a preset for a particular broadcaster if the preset doesn't match what the broadcaster now requires. So in this case, 2.8.3 brings a change to the stereo Netflix preset to reflect the Netflix best practices version 1.1 and the delivery standards version 3.3 in which Netflix now specify a maximum LRA for the stereo content of 18 instead of 20 LK. So that's the minor one. The major new feature that New Gen Audio have introduced in version 2.8.3 is flags. Now, New Gen Audio has had alerts for quite a while, but you would be forgiven for missing them as they, they are somewhat easily missed. Now, in previous versions, alerts showed up as these little red dots in the loudness history display. And you can see that I've got three here in the center of the screen. But until now, there was actually no way of interrogating what those little red dots represented. But in version 2.8.3, New Gen Audio have added flags. Now, I want to make it clear that flags do not replace alerts. They enhance them and they do three new things. Firstly, they convert the little red dots that represent the alerts into vertical lines. And you can see this as I turn on and off the flags option in the loudness history view selector tabs right at the left hand end of the VizLM window. So we'll leave those on because the second new feature is with flags enabled, you can now navigate between each flag and the small dialog box appears in the right hand corner. So you can see down here, we can see that at this particular point, there was a maximum true peak of minus two. And we can move along and we can see all the different issues. So in this case, we had a maximum momentary that exceeded the alert. And so if we look in the options and alerts, you can see here that the momentary is set to come on if the maximum momentary exceeds minus 13 LK. And you can see from here that it just exceeded it, minus 12.9. But you may have noticed that the text in this box down here is a little on the small side, especially when you can compare it with the cursor position text boxed up here. And in investigating this, I noticed that the text size doesn't change. The moment I've got this zoom level in the global tab set to auto. So as I resize the new gen audio viz LM window, all these resize. And this now, the cursor position window is very similar in size to the flag alert window. But as I bring the VizLM back out to full screen, you can now see that this hasn't tracked in terms of text size the same way as the other text box up here has done. And uh, in conversations with NewGen, it is a, a bug. Now, the team at NewGen have actually nailed this bug now, and the code is, I understand, being currently tested and will be released as soon as it's ready as part of a small maintenance update as soon as it's clear from the testing stage. And actually, whilst we're mentioning bugs, the eagle-eyed among you may have noticed that the G10 gate alert down here isn't lit up. And in fact, this also is a bug. 
And again, they've nailed it and it's in the testing stage at the moment. So it will be released, but they need to make sure that in fixing these two small issues, they haven't broken something else. So it goes through a testing stage and once it's ready, there will be a new maintenance update which will clear these two little problems. Now, the third part of the new flags feature is that you can, in fact, create your own flags. So if we start playing here and I wanted to mark a particular issue. I can just click this flag button down here like so. And you'll see now that we've got an orange line. So this is different to the red lines. So again, if we now just tab along to where we were. So there's the red line. Now there's a flag that I've already put in. And then there's the next flag that I've put in. And I'm really pleased that they've actually made these manual flags a slightly different color to the flags that are effectively created from alerts. So the alerts ones are understandably red warning there is something not right and you can't in fact clear an, an alert but you can actually clear one of the manual flags that you've placed now i'd like to move on to this undocumented feature that i actually discovered when i was preparing to make this video on the latest version of new gens viz lm 2.8.3 and it happened because I'd actually got an instance of the audio suite version of VizLM enabled. Now, one of the challenges we have, especially with a long piece of audio like this, which is nearly an hour long, is what happens if we haven't played it all the way through? We've effectively got to play it through in real time to be able to make use of the new gen audio sort of update feature. So wouldn't it be really great if you could use the audio suite, the offline high speed version, if you like, to do that analysis for us and then put it into the real time plugin version of VizLM. And in fact, you can. So here I've got this 57 minute program highlighted. And so what I can do in the audio suite version is to start to analyze it and watch what happens. So you can see now we've got this little indicator and what we just need to do is to allow this to run all the way through. And because it's an audio suite plugin, it's going to process pretty quickly. I mean, we're already very nearly halfway through. And so what we can do here is in much faster than real time, get ourselves to the point where we fully analyzed this 57 minute uh, program. And then what we can do is to basically take that analysis data and move it across from the audio suite version of the plugin into the real time plugin. So there we are. Now it's finished. So we click that button. You'll see a corresponding one has appeared in the real time plugin. We can now click this and it wants me to start playing and not to stop playing until the progress bar is fully ready to go. So it's already there. So now what I can do is I can hit stop and look, there we go. There is the analysis for the whole one hour piece of content already in my real time plugin so that now what I can do is if I want to make changes to the mix, I can now update that analysis with the changes. So if I need to do a patch, so maybe you're recalling an entire mix where you need to do a patch, you can use this undocumented feature by using the audio suite version to analyze the full mix as it was and then use this feature of transferring all the data from the audio suite version into the real time version, and then to be able to use the great feature we have in VizLM to be able to update the full integrated loudness and all the other data, even though we're only patching in a small part of that mix. 
I hope you found that undocumented feature helpful, and I hope you'll find that the new flags feature useful in analyzing and identifying where issues are in your mixes so that you can deliver first-class loudness compliant mixes. I'll see you again soon.